Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably show you how to check the storage of uh, of your Jira Cloud instance. Now, if you're using Jira on cloud, which I'm sure most of you are, because uh, Jira Cloud is uh, the future from Atlassian. I'm not really sure about uh, Atlassian's plan for on-prem version of Jira, but majority of people are now going to anyways use uh, Jira Cloud. Now, if you're using Jira Cloud, whether you're on free version or paid version, you need to, as a Jira administrator, you need to and you should keep an eye on uh, the storage. I mean, don't really wait for, the th for, for things to go wrong. Just do some uh, housekeeping wherever applicable, wherever you can, and try to ensure that your usage is under under limits. Now, if you are, uh, I mean, the place where you need to go is uh, admin.atlassian.com and you can then select the site. For example, right now I'm looking at a Jira tutorial, which is basically one of my site, which I use for demonstration. Now, if you go to, let us say, one of your site, uh, which is of course list listed here, you can then um, click on storage and then you can see here uh, storage, um, per per product per uh, application i guess uh, so basically this is this is basically the place where you can see things and uh, right now because i'm using jira free version also confluence free, free version so i have like 2 gb per uh, per product and uh, it is to be honest uh, decent amount of uh, storage for uh, free version. I think uh, the, the free version is definitely not really going to be sufficient for someone who is uh, maybe running a small company. I mean, you can definitely start using it because uh, you will get an idea, but you need to be aware of this limit because once you cross this limit, uh, I mean, imagine 2GB, if you if you are uploading uh, files, then you will, you will uh, reach the limit very soon. Because I'm using this uh, f this this instance of Jira where I don't really do any actual work. It is more about uh, just me using this instance of Jira for playing around, demonstrating. Uh, also, if you're using, let us say, the free version for your actual work, it is okay. Uh, and that is where uh, this particular page will help you. Now, of course, uh, when you upload attachments, it is going to be like... Uh, the biggest contributor towards this uh, limit. Now, what you can do is you can, uh, instead of using uh, attachments in Jira, you can definitely uh, just paste a link to your uh, maybe Google Drive or whatever, whatever you have available, like any any storage solution that you use. Uh, just use that. I mean, of course, don't really use Jira, even Confluence as a file management software. It should only be used as as an issue tracker or uh, for collaboration. But of course, uh, when you have the option to upload files, uh, you of course sometimes need to upload files. Um, I'm not really saying don't use the feature at all. But especially if you are using the free version, this page will definitely help you. And uh, if you of course use the paid version, let us check the, uh, if you go to atlassian.com and uh, let us go to Jira. I think there is a page um, where you can see all the, the different options. I guess it is this one, right? They have all the details, but do, do they have? Yeah, so they do have uh, the details here. So basically, if you're using the paid plan, then 250 GB is, uh, is definitely for 10 users, of course. Um, let us just check for yeah, let us, let, us, let us just compare it with 10 users because 10 users, for, for 10 users, it is free. So for 10 users, you have uh, 250 GB, which is, uh, I, I guess it is okay. 250 GB is definitely a lot, but uh, keep an eye on this particular page here. And I, I'm i not really sh sure if there is, because I know that using the REST API, you can definitely retrieve the issues and you can definitely retrieve the attachments of those issues, but uh, it is not super easy to retrieve uh, all the issues with attachments greater than, let us say, 
10 MB, right? Or greater than, uh, I, mean, I mean, you should anyways have a limit on the file people that file size that people can upload. But I think Atlassian should also create or make this rest endpoint available for everyone to use. Hit that endpoint, endpoint and get, get, get a list of all the attachments directly. Um, let me just check very quickly because you never really, really know things change. Maybe I'm just complaining too much, but I, last time I checked, there was no such easy, there was no such endpoint, right? Attachment. Come on. Yep. Attachment, attachment, attachment. So get attachment. Okay. So I, I think I'm looking at uh, the, I think I'm looking at Confluence. Is it Confluence? I think it is. Uh, no, it's not really. Okay. So it says here, um, it says here that you, you can, of course, retrieve it, but uh, you have to re retrieve it uh, not just in one go, but basically specify few things uh, like issues. So there is no like single endpoint. And uh, oh, it says attachment content. Let me just get all the attachments. Get Jira attachment settings. Come on. Because you have this information. Um, there, there is no separate endpoint only for attachments like listing all the attachments. Attachment is nothing but uh, one more attribute when you retrieve the issue. Because when you retrieve the issue, you will get uh, the, the in the JSON, you will get one section where you will have uh, all the attachments. So let us just try very quickly. REST API latest issue and uh, maybe come on let me just open an50 an193 let us open an153 an153 okay issue am i using the right an193 all right an193 okay so we have this and you can see here that attachment is uh, right now null, right? But if I go back to this particular uh, this particular task, I can drag something, right? I can probably drag, uh, what shall we try here? Come on. I was trying to attach. Okay, let me attach uh, one one file here and then I will show you how it looks like. Okay, attach a file. I'm just going to find a file which is not too big. Okay, so this is my this is my one of like, let me just upload this um, test dot CSV. Okay, this is fine. And uh, of course, it is now uploaded, hopefully. And if I now go back to the same rest endpoint, hopefully I should see something here. Okay, so now we have the attachment section here. So it is, of course, not really super useful. I mean, it is useful, but it's not really uh, helping me to identify issues with a lot of attachments. I, I mean, using just one endpoint. So you have to probably, you know, just uh, do a couple of calls. And uh, it is possible. I mean, good thing is that it is possible. If not easy, it is possible using REST API as well. All right. So yeah, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about and uh, share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And you, and you learned something, something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.